controversial Scots comedian Jerry Sadowitz, who's an absolute titan. You know, he's, he's the guy who's sort of the precursor to, to Frankie Boyle, an incredibly, incredibly funny comedian. He's been cancelled by the Edinburgh Fringe after complaints from audience members and venue staff. Uh, so they said he got his penis out on stage and used unacceptable uh, <laughs> language. But no, I mean, like, he, every time I've seen him, he gets his penis exactly. out on stage. And uses he's unacceptable like language. He said in the, in the flyer he'd get his penis out on stage. His, his show was called Not For Anyone. Like, you know when you're going to see Jerry Sadowitz, it's going to be shocking. It's going to be disgusting. It's incredibly funny, though. Yeah. It's, it's impossible to dissect. When, when you see it written down on the page, it sounds horrific and racist and shocking. And it is horrific. But it, it is, but <laughs> the alchemy of it, it works. I think because he's yeah. such a low-status person, everywhere he punches is up. And he punches everywhere. It's inc yeah. an incredible tour de force. It's like a religious uh, experience w watching it. It's, it is. It's, it's just incredible. But he's been, he's been banned by the by the Pleasants, uh, so the the Pleasants director, and this is man, we're seeing way more people getting getting banned now. It's it's, it's shocking. You know, it used to be the old guard, you know, Roy Chubby Brown and stuff, but now they're coming yeah. for people like Jerry Stadowitz. The director of the Pleasants, Anthony Alderson, said the Pleasants is a venue that champions freedom of speech, and we do not censor comedians' material. Uh, but the material presented at his first show is not acceptable and does not <laughs> align with our values, uh, so we will not be presenting his, his his show. It's like you just said you didn't censor material then in the second paragraph in the same breath you said you censored this material are you are you nuts like this is the and also these idiots do they not understand do they not go and look and see who they're booking I mean who's been in comedy for 20 years and doesn't know who Jerry Sadowitz is I've been going to see him since my mum used to take him to see him and they when I'm a kid. him I think you let most of the people don't know how the fringe works we know how the fringe works yeah it's like a, it's like all these different promoters putting on shows so it's this guy and this guy is one of the top five promoters mm. the players They've got they've got amazing venues, amazing acts, and for them to do this, you know what? I mean, did he say anything racist? Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. But the like, I can't explain it. You can't dissect comedy like this. It's like dissecting a frog. Like yeah. the frog dies yeah. and nobody's happy. You yeah. can't dissect comedy. I don't know who, who that quote's from. Sorry for ripping it off, but you know, on the page it looks oh, terrible. Taken out of context, yeah. a lot of comedy looks terrible. But in person, on stage, it completely works and it's, it's the yeah. most hilarious thing I've ever and seen and it's so sad to see him cancelled. If he says something that's xenophobic uh, A, Jerry Sadowitz is, is slightly a character, isn't he? He's sort a of fantastical yeah. caricature of a comedian yeah. Yeah. and persona and secondly it'll be ironic and tongue in cheek and deliberately naughty, exactly like Jimmy Carr's joke about the Holocaust. Jimmy Carr does not think it was great that many gypsies were murdered during the Holocaust but it seems that the woke censors didn't get the memo. Yeah, <laughs> although Jimmy Carr's coming from a, a high status position, G mm. like Jerry Sadowitz yeah. is really in the gutter but He's urinating on everyone. But they're both jokes. Yeah. Whether Jimmy Carr says Absolutely. it or whether Jerry Sadovitz says it. Yeah, I, yeah go, go on, this, 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 this guy, Jerry Sadovitz, is, he's insulted me to my face. He's accused me of stealing <laughs> jokes. He's a horrible human being. But the... But it just it makes you it makes you lose faith in in everyone. This guy who runs the Pleasance is a bright guy. He should know better than yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, I think for comedy, yes. this is you know this is uh, we've seen Salman Rushdie being stabbed. This is this is the the, the constraints coming in from the other side. It's no. crazy. And I, look, I don't want to labour yeah. this because we've got some other great stories to get through. But uh, this is also Scotland dumping a pile of the brown stuff on one of their own. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, it's the Edinburgh Festival, the greatest cultural event on the planet, Yeah, uh, biggest comedy festival in the world, and, and this is a Scottish creative icon. I mean, you yeah. don't have to love the guy, but you can respect his status. Yeah, absolutely. And a true it, original. And if you yeah. don't like him, don't go and see him. I don't like sushi. I don't, like, go to sushi restaurants, eat the sushi, and then, like, say I hate it, and uh, the sushi restaurant should be shut down. Yeah. Like, just, I don't go and eat sushi. And it's Scotland, of course, which is the, the birthplace of Billy Connolly, who yeah. recently said that he wouldn't be able to say any of those things he said in the 70s and 80s if he were working now. Yeah, and is Frankie Boyle... Is that progress? Frankie Boyle wouldn't be able to, to, to get going now. It's, it's sad enough. Yeah, but Frankie know... Boyle's got double standards because then he likes censoring other comedians like Ricky Bates <laughs> yeah. for being allegedly transphobic whilst doing rape jokes about Holly Willoughby. Yeah. You can't have it both ways. No, um, I'm looking forward to comedy's future in the woke world. Those are the words of Nika Burns, director of the Edinburgh Comedy Awards, oh, God. Uh, just, uh, just uh, two years ago. She's a complete irrelevance now. The Edinburgh fringe is over. Like the SNP have, have put a nail in it by restricting the amount of accommodation so that there's not enough space for audiences and acts. But also just th this, nobody, nobody wants to go and see woke comedy. It's, it's like women's football. It gets written about like The Guardian, <laughs> but it's rubbish. <laughs>